in yesterday's video I was kind of complaining about the fact that my my videos weren't starting out in high resolution and I had thought that possibly because I was uploading them a little bit too late um, that uh, YouTube didn't have a chance to process them and I talked about the fact that they had said that because they were short staffed that you know things weren't going to go as well as normal however I did upload yesterday's a little bit earlier and at post time it was available in 4k doesn't get much better than that at least not uh, the way things are today uh, maybe in a few years we'll be uploading in 8k but we'll see how it goes anyway I, th I think if we just pull this back just a little bit here oh that was too much and then put a little bead of uh, CA right down between the two there does that look right? Let me check the monitor. Yeah, that's about as good as it's going to get. And I'll do it from the inside. Oh, that was a little bit too much, but oh well. Can't suck it up. Okay, this post we did yesterday. So let's move down a couple here. Pull this into place. Now, remember I said that I was going to use the, the crack as a guideline? So i got to remember to keep doing that. here a little bit it won't look like a big glob of glue and then there's this one right here at the end um, yeah I think that'll be okay okay I think we can probably move down just a little bit here now we've already done this post yesterday. This post is probably a little bit loose. Yeah, I think we're probably safe to hook in right about here. Draw this down to the crack. get very much on here probably not very much well I did now I can see it glinting now in a shot like this over here it, it's going to be a little bit fuzzy and over here it's going to be a little bit fuzzy but the central point I try I try to get you know uh, this the central point it should be sharp I think it'd be right here if I remember right and uh, yesterday I know I had that one really bad scene where uh, the foreground was really blurred out, but the distance was uh, uh, sharp. Well, I had intentionally started, uh, wanted to talk about the... No, I don't know where I was going with that sentence. I think I was starting to begin to apologize for my bad camera work yesterday. Okay, now we'll move down two more. Push this in. Now, if the railings are not straight up and down, that's okay after the CA is, is hardened. We can straighten them up. Just want to watch that I don't glue the pin to the rail. I should have put the pin on the r next rail up, but I didn't. Now I think if we do these two rails at a time, that's just about right. 
I might get away with three, but uh, Did I get this one? Yes. Now, in yesterday's episode, I was talking about how when we get down here, uh, bef before I glue this all the way along, I should figure out where the railing has to come out and over. And uh, it'll be easier to bend this piece in the right spot before it's glued down right here. Now. Uh, one of the viewers in Australia, his name is Mark, he did, an, he did a, a build online and he was telling me about uh, if you put a piece of tape, use tape, and I, I'm, I think I know what he's talking about here. Now Mark, I hope I've got this right. So he put a piece of tape on here like this, along the edge. Okay. And then, where's my tweezers here? We'll use Tony's. Just sort of fasten the rail to the tape. Now, the, the idea of, of this, of course, is I'm not going to, you know, use the tape to glue it because I kind of like my own system with the uh, with the pin. But uh, this will just give it a little bit of extra support here. And yet, if I yank on it, it's not going to break anything. At least, not very much. Okay, now where should that bend be? I pull this taunt. It'd be bended a little bit right here. Just a little. A little more. Okay, if we make our bend right there about a millimeter to the left of that post. Let's see, how's that going to go? Being as the this part here is higher than the deck, I wonder maybe the rail should go on the... Can I do it on the outside of this maybe? Oops. I'm getting, sh I'm getting shaky here. Let's get this around like this very carefully. Okay. Now what would happen? Oh, I can't squeeze it hard enough. You know what? Maybe I should have bent this before I mounted it on there. Uh, I'm going to have to think about this. This is the blade that we were using in conjunction with Andy's photo etch bender. It's not sharp. At least not real sharp. I'm just thinking maybe I can use it to sort of get the kink in the right place. If I make it right there, just slowly squeeze this around. Is that going to be in the right place when it goes back here? should have been a little bit more to the right. Now what do I do? better did I just put it in the same place again okay
it's almost right. Okay, I'm gonna have to turn the camera off, sorry. Okay, I've got the bend in the right place, but this is not gonna look right because when I fold this around, the, the post that would that would go like this one right this post right here um, it's going to be too far over I think and it's just it's just not going to look right I can try it see what happens I guess okay you can see that I've bent the other angle if I take it off There we go. Now how is this going to look? Well, okay, I've rebent my angles here and I'm almost got it. Okay. Now I think that if we fasten it along the rail in the, along the gunnel there in the in the crack, okay, and then after this this drives right here, then I can pull this straight and it should this bottom rail should go right along the edge here. At least that's the plan. Okay, we've done this one. We haven't done this one. So let's just move up a couple here. Oh! Well, I know you couldn't see how it happened, but what happened was I accidentally banged my pliers and knocked them over. And my experience is that when I do something like this, I never get these little rails back exactly as straight as they once were. But we'll try. I'm just going to move the camera out of the way and do it. Okay, I've put on a different lens here and it uh, allows me to have the camera a little bit further back out of the way. Uh, zoomed in at 120 millimeter right now. Now I have to be careful not to pull up or down as I do this. Maybe I'll brace my hand just a little bit here. Could have been worse, at least nothing, uh, you know, got ripped off or anything. Put a bit of a bend on it here. I think that's going to be okay. Once it's all glued down, I can straighten each one of these rails individually, I think. Okay, I've got a configuration going on here that I'm a lot more familiar with. And uh, let's just see if we can maybe glue this post down here and uh, this this bottom rail here is a little bit crooked I'm not too worried about the top rails just let's see if I can just straighten this just a little bit here so that the bottom one will be straight or straighter anyway then we'll worry about the uh, the three rails that are further up later Okay, so that that post now is where it's supposed to be. At least it was where it was supposed to be. 
I don't know, maybe I won't glue that down too much. I might be able to just shove it more into place. And we'll see if we can push this back just a little bit. That's pretty much right, actually. I'm more I'm looking a lot more straight down on it than you are. Okay, we'll move over a couple of posts here. You know what? It's not sticking. Maybe I didn't put enough on there. Okay, well, let's do it again. Okay, it will this time. I think that'll be okay. Give it about three minutes, that should be enough. Okay, now we'll move it over a couple of posts. Maybe we better just do this one here because I'm noticing it doesn't seem to want to go in the right place. So we'll do it this way. Yeah, very gently now. Maybe I better just wait a minute here and hold this one down. I guess what happened is this whole, this whole fence, got, or railing rather, got kind of bent out of shape when we had our hiccup. Now maybe it's safe to go two at a time. Almost there. Pull this one just a little bit more like this. It doesn't want to come. Maybe I better do this one separately. Okay, we'll wait a few minutes here. Now I don't want to put too much on because I don't want it to wick its way all the way over to the right. Did I glue the pin on? Don't tell me I got it on the pin head. I better move that while I can. Sort of wipe it off there with my fingers and press down up here. I do believe I got enough on there. Okay, now don't put any more onto the right because that other section we are going to want to pull it back. Okay. Now this one here, I want to pull it so that it's going to go around the outside. Something like this. But I want it to be... See, 
Well, maybe I'm gonna have to grab it at a little, whoops. Grab it at a different angle here so that I can, I did kind of have it before and then I tried to make it better and I made it worse. Okay, now if I could hold it like this and, and glue it from behind, I wonder possible to maybe get my pusher down or to pull on it. I'll, I'll just come at a bit of a different angle here. Sometimes when I try stuff like this, it doesn't work because all of a sudden it'll it'll drop down and bend everything. I don't want that to happen. Oh! Bent the railing back. Well, you know what? I think I can straighten that later. Well, you know what? If I hold pressure on with my hand, like this, I don't want to let go because I, I'm actually holding against it. Okay, let's just put a little bit on there. I know that the corner isn't quite right. I mean, the, the, this corner in here. Okay, was that enough? See what happens when I take the pressure off. Yeah, it stayed there. Now here you can really see that the this corner is not quite right and the glue has made it so I can't do any adjusting. Not that I would have been able to do a whole lot anyway. I think what we'll do now is we'll just Put a little bit of glue here, because this is loose. Okay, I think that's about as good as we need. And after everything cures, then we'll straighten this rail here. And we'll go back and we'll try and straighten out the ones that I had the hiccup on. I've taken the pliers off of my pusher downer here and we're gonna rename it the puller outer. Like I mentioned to one of the viewers, I think it was in yesterday's comments, is saying I should have given this thing a more sophisticated name. Okay, now the rest of these I can do with my with my finger. Uh, let's go down to our hiccup. Okay, we're going to want to pull the bottom rail out here. Let's see if I rest this on something, maybe. And push it right here. It'd be really nice if this was about 20 times bigger. Okay, I don't know if I get it better or worse. Now let's, let's shove this one in. Oh, I went too far. Okay, let me look in the monitor. I don't know, did I get it better or not? Okay, I know I'm blocking the light here, but... Sometimes doing that works. Looks like the railing is a little bit down. You know, I was thinking the other day that <clears throat> when I was m mentioning how the, these railings were actually chained, probably to make this more realistic, a person should go and bend every single rail down just a little bit so they all kind of went like, like waves, you know what I mean? Anyway, it's just a thought. All right, now let's <clears throat> see is the... Um, let's look at it from a different angle here. Well, I think we're probably going to be taking a bit of a break here. Just lift that up just a little bit. And 
and uh, maybe this one could go, whoops, gotta be so careful here. Pull that one out, I know you can't see it. Um, yeah, I think we're going to take a, a break for today and uh, thanks for watching and all being well. We'll see you tomorrow and we'll see if we can get some railing between these two little stairways here, or gangways. Careful Ron, don't bend it again. <laughs>